How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another ARK Let's Build video, and in today's video, we're going to be building this otter pen that you see in front of you now. For those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step walkthrough video with voiced over instructions so you can get this build on your ARK. And make sure you check out the description below for a full list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this. And all of the paint and decorations on this build was done by You Are A Monkey, so I'm going to leave her information linked down in the description and in a comment below. Make sure you guys go check out her channel and show her some love for her hard work on this build. But anyways, with all of that said guys, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today checking out this video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so first things first, for this build, it would be ideal if you can find a spot on your map that has a nice shallow area of water and flat ground below it. Now, if you don't have an area like this available, it's not absolutely necessary. You can just use pillars and ceilings instead of foundations and drop walls down. I'm simply going to be using these foundations because on official settings, I want to make sure everything is flush with the ground so we can leave our otters on wander. So to start this off, I'm going to lay down a row of four stone foundations. Then over here on the side, I'm going to make a row of 11 stone triangle foundations. Now on the back side, I'm going to add one more stone foundation, then two thatch foundations, and one more stone. Then I'll add another 11 stone triangle foundations over here. Now that we have that first section done, we're going to come to either one of our sides. And on this second triangle foundation right here, we're going to place two stone foundations coming out and then just add three more rows of two. And then go ahead and duplicate that on the other side. And that'll make up the foundation for our build. So now the next thing you can do is go ahead and switch all of those regular foundations to block and also go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatch foundations. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start placing our pillars. So starting here on the front on this left foundation, we're gonna place a wooden fence foundation and then place two high stone pillars on each side of it. Then on the outside pillar, we're gonna add one wooden pillar and go ahead and copy this over here on the right foundation. So it should look like this. So then go ahead and duplicate that here on the back side on these two foundations. Now that we have the front and back done, we're going to start working on our sides. So we'll come to the front of this side platform and add a wooden fence foundation on each side of it. Just like that. Then in this corner, we're going to place one stone and two wooden pillars. And then on this corner, we're just going to place one wooden pillar. Then we'll come to the back side and place a wooden fence foundation on this foundation. Add a stone and two wood here on the inside and also on this other snap point right here. Then add another wooden fence foundation right here and just add one more wooden pillar. Then we will come into this second foundation in right here and place another wooden fence foundation on this inline between the normal and triangle foundation. And then on this spot right here, we're gonna place one stone and one wood pillar. And then on this spot, we're gonna place one stone and two wood pillars. And then we're gonna add one more fence foundation right here. And again, we're gonna place one stone and two wooden pillars. So now you can go over to our other side and just duplicate what we just did on that side over here on this side. All right, next we're gonna start building up our walls for the center portion. So we're gonna start here on the front by placing two high greenhouse walls on all four of these foundations. Then on this corner right here, we're gonna add two high stone walls on each foundation. We'll come to this inline right here, right after this pillar, we're going to place a greenhouse wall on each of these and then a stone wall on top of them. In this next spot, we're gonna place two high stone walls. We're gonna skip that spot right there, 
come around to this corner and place two more stone. Then right here, we're gonna place two more greenhouse. Do the same thing on these two over here. Again, skip this spot right there and place two stone right here. Go ahead and place another two greenhouse and two stone here. And then just two more stone on each of these corner foundations. All right, now we're gonna head inside of the center of our build here. And on this entire inline of foundations, we are going to place two high stone double door frames. All right, so now we're gonna head back inside here and again, we're gonna be lining the inside of these foundations. Now this time we're gonna start off by placing a lining of thatch ceilings going around the inside. So it should look like this. Now we're gonna head into the side of this foundation right here and get out a stone railing. And you are going to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Until you get this light blue snap point right here, go ahead and place that down. Do the same thing right here on this side. And then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy these two thatch ceilings. Now we're gonna go around and do this in front of each of these stone double door frames, except for this one right here and this one right here as we're gonna have staircases right there. So now that you have all those placed, just go ahead and pick up or destroy all of this thatch. Now, once you have that thatch picked up, we're just gonna go ahead and place a stone stair right here and right here. Next, we're gonna place some more stone railings, which are actually gonna be on our second level, but because we're gonna be using wooden triangle ceilings, those are gonna cause some complicated multiple snap points. So we're just gonna go ahead and place these railings now. So we're gonna go ahead here on our left side and just place a stone railing on top of each of these walls. Now we are going to skip the sides, the front and back where we have the normal foundations because normal wooden ceilings will be obstructed. So just go over here to the right side and place these on top of all of these walls. All right, next we're gonna come over to either one of our sides and build up our staircase to get us to the second level. So starting off right here in front of this greenhouse wall, we're gonna place the appropriate sloped stone wall just like this. Then we'll add a stone wall and another sloped wall. And then in this next spot, we're gonna add a stone door frame, reinforced door, and then another stone wall. Then over here on the back side, we're gonna place two high stone walls. Now make sure you're snapping it on the foundation. Then we will come back around and on the inside here between these two pillars, we're gonna place two more stone walls, just like this. Then you can go ahead and add your wooden ceiling here on top and then drop down two stone stairs to get us down to the ground. So it should look like this when it's all said and done. So now go to the other side and just duplicate this over here. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and start working on our second level. So we're gonna come into either side where we have that wooden ceiling from our staircase, and we're gonna go ahead and place a row of 11 wooden triangle ceilings right here. Then on the front side of our build, we're gonna place a row of four wooden ceilings going across. We'll add another row of 11 wooden triangle ceilings over here. And then for our back side, we're gonna go ahead and place one wooden ceiling right here and another one over here. And then we're gonna come down here and place a thatch ceiling 
right here and right here. Then come around to the outside and we're going to place two high stone railings on top of each of those thatch ceilings. So just like this. Then you can go ahead and place a, a wooden ceiling going across just like this. And then go ahead and destroy those thatch ceilings. Now up top, we can go ahead and finish placing our stone railing. So first here on the front, we'll just place four going across. Go ahead and also do this here on the back side. Now on the middle, make sure you're placing it on the ceiling and not on the railings below. Now we're gonna go ahead over here where our stairs come up and we'll place one right here on this side and one on the back side and then just do that on our other stair as well. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and add some stone double door frames on the second floor. And we're gonna do this all the way around this inline of these ceilings. So what we will do is we will snap these to the ones we've already placed down below. So just go all the way around and place these on each one. Now right here where we don't have them below, we'll just go ahead and snap them just like this and then continue around. All right, now we're gonna head inside here where we just placed those stone double door frames and we are going to line the inside with thatch ceilings. So it should look like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and get out a stone railing and we're gonna do the same thing as we did at the bottom. We are gonna be looking for this light blue snap point. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system. Just make sure you have this light blue snap point and go ahead and place it down. Then we are gonna do that all the way around in front of each of these stone double door frames. Then you can just go ahead and destroy all of those thatch ceilings. Now we're gonna go ahead and build up the roof on the top. So we're gonna start on any side. It doesn't matter which one you start on. And we're going to place the appropriate sloped wooden wall right here on this side. So it looks like that. Go ahead and add a wooden wall on both of these middle two spots. And then the other sloped wooden wall right here. And then just add sloped wooden walls on the top so that you have this right here. So now go ahead around to the other three sides and do the same thing. And then once you have all four sides done, we're going to add the sloped wooden roofs. Now we're gonna be crossing these. So if you're on official settings, you need to do this in a specific order or else they won't be able to place. So what you need to do is come to any corner and first start with the left side. So right here, we're going to place a sloped wooden roof right here and right here. Then we'll go ahead and place the right side. So now you'll be able to cross them in. So we'll place one right here and another one right here. So just like that. So now go to the other three corners and do the same thing. Now that we have all of those placed, we're going to place the sloped greenhouse roofs in the middle and we need to do the same thing. So starting on any one of the four corners on the left side, we'll go ahead and place a sloped greenhouse roof like this. And then we'll place the one on the right side and we'll do that on the other three corners as well. Now, lastly, we need to come inside of the build. So we'll go in through back here and we just need to add sloped wooden roofs in these open spots. Now on the front side of our build, we're gonna come in here below these greenhouse walls and add thatch ceilings in front of each of them. Then we're gonna get out a stone door frame and we're gonna be looking for this snap point right here. So you may need to rotate the snap point using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system, but you want this light blue snap point. And then once you have this snap point, we're gonna go ahead and flip the door frame around again, using whichever key or button is appropriate for your system so that we get something that looks like this. So go ahead and place it and then do that in these other three spots as well. 
and then we're gonna go ahead and add another door frame on top of those. Now it's important, just be careful that you're placing it on the door frame and not destroying the greenhouse wall behind you. And then once you have all of those placed, you can go ahead and pick up or destroy those thatched ceilings. And then we're gonna head to the back side of the build where we have those two greenhouse walls on the back. And we're gonna do the same thing back here. Now we will come to either one of our sides here and we're gonna do a few more things. So first we're gonna add two stone stairs here on the front. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add four stone railings on the side and one on the back. And then go over to your other side and just do the exact same thing over here. All right, now lastly, we're gonna build that outdoor pen on the outside here on the back. So the first thing we're gonna do is come here to this pillar and place a wooden ladder on the front of it, just like this. Then you can go ahead and climb on that ladder, look down a little bit and get out a wooden fence support and jump off. And we're just gonna line this up to the center of the pillar and then just a little bit out of it. So something like this, go ahead and place that down and then go ahead and pick up your wooden ladder. We're gonna bring one more of these out straight. So you may need to rotate through the snap points until you get one that's coming out straight like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and place a stone pillar right here on the corner of that and a wooden pillar on top of it. Then go ahead and get out your fence supports and continue snapping them. Now going in this direction along the back. And we're gonna do that three more times. Then once you have those three placed, we're gonna go ahead and add another stone pillar on this corner and a wooden pillar on top. And then we're just gonna take two more of these wooden fence supports going back inwards towards our build. And then once you have all of these placed, you can go ahead and add a stone wall and a stone railing on each of them. All right guys, now that is gonna do it for the building portion of this video. Now, as always, You Were a Monkey is gonna come in here and work her magic on the paint and decorations. So guys, stick around for one more second and I will show you what she comes up with. All right guys, so like I said, as always, You Were a Monkey has came in here and hooked us up with a pretty awesome paint scheme and some great decorations. So I'm just gonna kinda real quickly show you what she's done. But again, guys, make sure you go check out her full video and her channel, which I will leave linked down below and show her some love for her hard work on this build. So first things first, as you can tell, she has hooked us up with a great paint scheme here on the outside, as well as some pretty cool decorations just here around the top of the build. And then she's also expanded our little patio area out and added in this awesome otter statue on each side. And then we, if we go in here through the back, you'll see We've got some fish in here that she's added. We've got some otters swimming around inside of here. And we have a few more hanging out around the inside here. And obviously she's painted all of the inside as well. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Leave me some feedback in the comments below. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. Also, guys, once again, make sure you go check out your Monkey's channel and show her some love for her hard work on this build. And also, guys, check out the description below for a link to my Twitter and my Discord and come hang out with us on there. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you once again, thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video, and have a great day.